Hi guys, it's Anomite and welcome back to NO18 Double O. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna do once again a new layout video. If you guys happen to like the layout videos, which I'm very happy about, just so you know, those are not like my ideas, those are the ideas that I like found uh, either on Reddit or on the Wikipedia of NO or basically like search around. The ones that I actually use, the ones that I actually like recommend. So feel free to use them. Just please remember that the actual credit goes to uh, to the authors who designed those those layers. Now, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do this thing on this island because this is the thing. Uh, in the previous layout videos, we have did uh, the beer. I know this is like a bad one. This is just like a temporary solution. Um, we did the we did the bread and we did snaps. Now the thing is those two things don't reduce your attractiveness to the island. So if you're gonna build an actual island that will focus on getting tourists into your island, you may actually want to avoid those things, simply because, like, if I'm gonna go to my attractiveness, as you can see, uh, the slaughterhouse, the pig farm, and even the soap factories, they what give you a negative sure. impact on your attractiveness. I know that there are basically items in the museum and the zoo that, like, one simple item should cover this this negative impact but then again if you want to aim for the highest possible attractiveness you probably want to do this thing on a different island that won't get that visited by uh, by tourists of course so i got myself a little island over here as well like a secondary island uh the thing is that the pigs uh, pig farms the sausages actually they get unlocked in the worker section the mm, chain production is actually quite simple the ratio is one to one uh, the pig farm basically takes one minute to produce a pig and then the sausage uh, house, slaughterhouse actually takes also one minute to produce your sausages. Now, the difference is gonna be that today we're gonna actually try to use the trade union building. The trade union building, if you don't remember, is a building that uh, has a positive impact on the production uh, buildings around it. It only affects the buildings around it. Like unlike, unlike in previous Anno games, you had the same system back at the harbor. You had the harbor building. The harbor building uh, had one card per upgrade. So on level one, it had one card. On level two, it had two cards. And on level three, it had three cards. You could put like different types of cards into that harbor, either like adding a uh, fertility to the land, uh, affecting the houses or service buildings, or affecting the actual production buildings, farms or the actual factories. The trade union is basically that system bought on a smaller scale, since this thing will affect only the buildings uh, that are within the circle. However, it needs to be the buildings, not the actual fields. So for example, if I'm gonna put the trade union house this way, for example, as you know, this is uh, one of the layouts for the worker outfits. Now, for example, this ship farm has fields here and one field over here and even though that this field is outside of the range of the trade union house it still be effective because it's the actual building that matters as usual we're gonna start in a corner as all of those layouts are basically based on a box design right so one way or another this is still a box uh, like a square uh, so basically this is how we start uh this is my favorite layout because it basically provides you with a quite big output and you kinda need the sausages, like you kinda need a lot of the sausages uh, simply because the sausages, if I remember correctly, uh, are also needed by the artisans. So not only by the workers, but also the artisans will still use the sausages, so keep that thing in mind when you're gonna be uh, putting that layout around. And basically like a lot of the NPCs also will buy the sausages from you. So, without further ado, um, just remember to turn as usual the uh, the blueprint mode so in case of mistake you'll be able to quite easy fix this thing so let's build this thing for now over here now this is actually not the way you want to rotate it you want to put it like this as such now select the pig farm and as usual let's go with the actual film files so one over here then the four remaining fields have to go on this side of the farm as such Grab the pig farm and put it in the corner like such. Right? Then grab the sausage slaughterhouse actually. Build one over here, another one over here, and then you have to mirror the entire layout. Because this is this layout is like super simple. Yet in my own personal opinion, it's one of the best layouts around currently available 
for the for the sausage production. So that's those things goes there. Then I'm able to put a warehouse more or less over here. As such, surround him with roads. Of course, if you like don't want to surround the Yes, yes, that's nice. If you don't want to surround uh, the actual layout with the roads, that's completely fine. You can either put it like next to a cliffside or you can try to make like be some decorations around. It's up to you what you're gonna do around. Um, then go back to the worker section and let's finish off the layout. So you have to put two additional slaughterhouses on this side of the warehouse. So when you have the road over here that goes around the warehouse, and you align the slaughterhouse with the road, you move one tile to the left and one tile to the, on this side to the right. So you're actually gonna be... Oh wait, <laughs> I made a mistake. You actually need to end with the road, right? So the slaughterhouse will end with the road itself around that goes around uh, the warehouse. Now, the pig farm, once again, from this pig farm that is already existing, you go two tiles down and you place one over here and do exactly the same thing on the opposite side. And you just finish off with the fields as such. And you put the one final field in the break between those two pig farms as such. Same thing on this side. And there you go. Your layout for the sausages is complete. Now this next layout is not exactly the layout I use quite often. This is more of a layout that uh, I have a little bit of space, but too little to fit this thing, okay? So keep that thing in mind. In my personal opinion, this is the best possible layout for the, for the sausage production. Now, this one is a little bit more slim. It also provides you with less, uh, like, sausage output. Because this one provides you with four per minute, and this one's gonna provide you only with two per minute. But as I said, it's a little bit more slim. So as, as usual, start with the pig farm first. Uh, you want to select the field, and then you want to go along the way of the pig farm itself. So you make three tiles of pig farms over here, and then you put additional one on this side. So you have something like this, like a L type of shape of the fields. Relocate it and put it in the corner as such. Now, grab the slaughterhouse, build it richly next to the pig farm. Then you want to make the warehouse itself you have like a little bit of space behind it, so feel free to maybe put some gardens around or just grass to get at least a little bit of attractiveness bonus if you really want to. That's always free. Well, the upkeep is free. And then you make, then you have to mirror the same thing on the opposite side. So one slaughterhouse and then once again one final pig farm and you just surround it with fields as such. There you go. So this is like the second layout. As I said, I use this thing when I constantly run out of space and I really, really need to squeeze somewhere like sausages production. So it's actually quite slim. Most of the times I put this thing next to mountains or whatever, because that's like the only remaining free space most of the times I have. Now this next layout is actually quite similar to the previous one, however it's more of a, like a mm, more boxy shape. Like I'm gonna show you literally in a minute what I mean. So. Let's make out over here. We have once again the corner. We usually start with the corners. Uh, so keep this thing in mind. Now, uh, once again, into the sausage production, grab yourself the pig farm and you want to build it like this. Okay, so the longer side will go up, technically. You make the fields, and this is a bit more tricky because you have to put the first fields in the same way as you did the farm. So you put one field over here, then you put the next field Richly above it, then you rotate the field once, you put the field over here, and then you put uh, two additional fields over here. So you, once again, you have like a L, L shape, shape thingy. Grab it, put it in the corner as such. Now, you need a warehouse to be built more or less over here, and make yourself slaughterhouse richly the, like, from a road going down from the warehouse as such. And then don't remember, don't, I remember actually, to fit the final pig farm uh, in this remaining space. So you're gonna create like a box. Now you want to create four pig farms fields, maybe, in this section of the, of the layout. And then one final one fitting perfectly in this little <laughs> free space over there. Surround the road if you really want to. Just remember to give the road 
uh, connection to the harbor. Also, if you really don't want to, you can demolish those, uh, those three tiles of road over there and actually put like a garden or something like just to get that a little bit of uh, attractiveness bonus. You can, you can also try to place maybe something related to farming. So maybe like this thing uh, from the workers. You can try to put, I think, a well and like a bush, you know, just to make this thing uh, like look more like an actual like farming. Just keep in mind that this thing does not go actually quite well with the with the road. But hey, you can have everything, right? Now this next layout is actually without the warehouse. <laughs> Would you look at that? It's only one sausage per minute, so it's actually good for very small islands, very small outposts if you outposts if you really need to build it. So it's like super simple. So let's start by building the slaughterhouse. Try to put it let's say here. Then you build next to it the pig farm, and then you just surround it the upside, upper side of this of this box with pig farms. So to go over here, the this way shaped it, and then you rotate this thing, and you build the three remaining ones over here. And as such, you make yourself like a super slim, super small uh, sausage chain production. Now this final layout is not exactly a layout that I use quite often. I actually use it maybe once. Uh, simply because I think it's a bit of a waste of the road system. But then again, if you like want to upgrade the warehouse to its maximum level, then I think this warehouse, I mean this layout, would actually uh, be more useful for you. Simply because the warehouse has access to four different roads going outside of the layout itself. So you can, for example, put on the edges some different factories that will have like, let's say, quite quick access to a warehouse but then I remember that it has to be an upgraded warehouse otherwise you're gonna just block yourself and the sausage production uh, will just not be efficient as it's supposed to be so um, let's actually use this corner over here like this is more than enough if you think about that so go to, once again to the sausage chain, uh, chain production you start with the pig farm as usual uh, actually with just one you select the pig farm and you need to make the fields first so rotate the field as such make two fields going down this way and without changing the actual orientation of the field you build three more over here as such grab the farm put it in the corner as such now you want to make the slaughterhouse over here make leave some space for a road make another slaughterhouse over here and then you have to mirror the entire uh, like this side or corner actually of the layout itself so Slaughterhouse, two tiles to the side, place the pig farm, and then make yourself a few fields. And then just remember to put two additional fields as such over here. Uh, warehouse in the middle. Mm, I think it should be actually here. Yeah, it has to be over here. Then you can make yourself like a road that goes outside of this way. You can make yourself a road that goes outside to this way. And then you can make yourself a road that goes outside to this way as well. So as I said, you have four different roads that could go to a different factories outside of the layout itself. Maybe make it next to the mountains. If you have like, let's say, one single deposit of iron or coal or something like that, then like one warehouse should be capable of maintaining the unloading and unloading of resources. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't finish actually the layout. So... Once again, we need two pig farms over here, and then you finish this thing with slaughterhouses over here. Now finish it with quickly just a three pig farms over here, pig fields actually, as such, and there you go. The final layout for the sausage production is ready. So as you can see, very simple, uh, fitting quite nicely. Just remember about the attractiveness thingy. Now I'm just gonna show you quickly. How exactly does the trade union works wonderfully? Uh, to be honest, I think it should affect this thing. I don't remember. I think I used this layout before with the trade union and it actually worked. So if I'm gonna play this thing around nicely, it should actually work. Uh, for better, like, let's say use of terrain, you should rotate this thing and make it so that the trade union will go outside to this side. As such, so that this Game C, or whatever they're gonna call this thing, shepherd road thing, 
will then lead to the trade union. So that means I have to rotate the entire layout and put the same thing on this side. So it's gonna look more or less like imagine that there will be like sheer space over here. So it'd look like flip this thing 190 degrees, 80 degrees, and put like another uh, similar layout over here, and you should get yourself quite the production. Also, if you really want to, you could try to squeeze some pig farms over here for like additional uh, production. But let's try to use the first idea. So I'm gonna try to build you. Yeah, I think this should work. I think it actually like last time worked. So let's actually build this thing quickly. Now, if you like wonder, how exactly does this thing is supposed to affect the pig farms? All right, where do you get the people who work in the trade union? You get them from the prison. All of the people I found, I got from the prison, from this guy. So from time to time, he gets actually really cool people that you can buy from him and uh, put in the trade union uh, buildings to get like a maximum output. Ah, this is quite lucky. So for example, this is one of the guys I use. He affects only the slaughterhouse. He reduces the maintenance cost by 50% and also he adds extra goods uh, to the output thing. So basically he makes he makes items out of thin air because reasons. Uh, is this like a chance I'll actually get one more? Don't think so. Just wanted to show you, but I guess I'm not that lucky. Uh, sadly, no. <laughs> we are not lucky enough to actually get additional guy. Well, oh well, it happens. So, back to the uh, trade union building over here. Grab the trade union and let's put those guys into us. Now remember, those are all the people I found from the prison guy. So, this one is the first one. Affects the slaughterhouse and pig farms. Both. So, really good for this layout. It increases productivity by 20%. And sadly, this guy don't got affected, if I can understand this thing correctly. Yeah, this is a nice spot. So, maybe, like, you could try to modify this display out a little tiny bit. Remove this road over here, and just put this thing a bit closer, and then you can try to use this space for, like, decorative purposes. You get the idea, I hope. It, as I said, it would work a better way if I would actually build a trade union on this side, but you can also try to do it this way. That's, that's completely fine. Uh, so now, this building is affected by the guy from the trade union and increases the productivity by 20%. Now, who else we have? We have this guy who reduces the maintenance and he works only on the slaughterhouse. house. He also gives you extra goods out. And I think the final guy is this one. Affects also only the slaughterhouse. house and he reduces the amount of workers needed uh, to get the building operational. So, as such, we increase the productivity, we've managed to reduce the maintenance, uh, we've managed to increase the output out of thin air, and we reduce the amount of workers needed to work in the, in the slaughterhouse. So, I would say this is quite the deal. You know, there are probably other really fancy people who can work in the trade union house. The thing is that I haven't found all of them, uh, to be honest, like, if you get the quests from your villagers, then those are the quests I highly recommend that you're gonna try to do, because most of the times, you will get an actual people who will work in the trade union building. And, like, the guy uh, from the prison here has, like, a limited roster of, uh, of those, of those people who can actually work in the trade union building. Um, I think you can also get those guys from the expeditions. I'm just simply not exactly sure which one. Probably the rescue missions, but I'm not sure. I haven't tested them all yet. So that's like the thing for the hopefully future videos. I don't know. We're gonna see. So yeah, with a simple layout, we've managed to hopefully secure ourselves the need for sausages for the time being. Just remember that this thing is gonna hit your attractiveness like a train. So you may actually want to probably uh, sacrifice one island and build only, let's say, the soap and the uh, sausage production on that island. So that it's gonna for sure not get visited by any tourists because that's gonna be simply a waste. And if I remember correctly, the harbor for the tourists is like around 500 bucks uh, of upkeep that you need to basically pay. So I hope you get the idea. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a moment I'm gonna cut this video over here. Uh, more layouts will come. We can actually try to maybe play through the campaign very soon. 
or maybe the video with the start of the campaign of Eno has already been put out. And if you guys have other ideas, layouts, or maybe just other games that you want to see, feel free to do. Uh, feel free to let me know. Just remember that this is this channel is not only Eno focused. We have a variety of games, so just don't expect that's gonna be only Eno. Sorry about that. But this is not an anal only channel. Just saying that thing for the future notice. And I'm just rambling too much. So I'm gonna leave this thing as of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.